Hello, and welcome to another episode of the Business of Business podcast. I'm Roy. Hey, we've got a fantastic guest with us today. Uh, can't wait to get to her, talk about a couple things that are very important uh, in business, especially during these times, are publicity and referrals. And uh, we are fortunate enough to have Jill Lublin on with us. She is uh, a speaker that speaks on radical influence, publicity, networking, kindness, and referrals. She is the best-selling author of four books, and her latest is Profit of Kindness, which went to number one in four categories. Jill, thanks so much for taking time out of your day to be with us. I'm delighted to be yeah. here. Thank you. Well, you know, we had talked a week or so ago, and uh, what really interested me about you is uh, publicity and referrals. And I can't ever explain enough to people that referrals are probably our cheapest source of acquiring, not cheapest, but the most cost-effective source of acquiring our clients, consumers. And so, but it's what I find in general day-to-day -day operations is it's one of the least uh, saw. It's one of the, the, the least pursued activities that salespeople take, and sometimes it's a, as little as just um, you know five friends that could uh, benefit from whatever my service or product is. But anyway, I don't, don't want to steal your thunder. I'm gonna. Uh, you know, let you weigh on this because obviously it's uh, four of the key subjects that you tend to talk about. So I, I know that you feel that they're important as well. Very important. I mean, you know, realistically, um, I think it's all publicity, first of all, when you walk out into your Zoom room or your networking meeting, uh, you are representing yourself always. Uh, asking for referrals is an essential part of your system and getting to uh, ask it in a way that is connected and and uh, takes into account the other person. I, I really like, I call it the who question, mm -hmm. and it's who do you know who needs da 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 da, da fill in the blank, okay. right? Right. And right. so that that's that's a really good question. Um, and I, but I think it's really an underused strategy that most people forget about. Right. Exactly. So before we get way off track um, or way down the road on this subject, can you explain what is the difference between publicity and regular straight marketing? And then also, you know, I know that there are a couple different types of publicity, but could you just kind of give us the basics of that, please? Sure. Well, publicity is is broad. I mean, I look at it as a, a credibility building, visibility building, exposure in the marketplace, building trust and connection. And then, um, you know, that that's a real key marketing. I think of like a tree. Right. right. And there's a branch of the tree. The branch is publicity. Okay. And that branch is is key to, of course, the tree's life. Um, but it's certainly a key element that you need to be looking for in terms of uh, knowing that you need to budget for it, right? right, I, right. I tell people at least 10% of your thinking gross revenues, like just really just put it back into publicity because right. that's a ever returning strategy that keeps right. you out, out in front. Well, and you read my mind because that was my uh, going to be my follow up is that there are really there is the the paid publicity and non-paid i think a lot of us novices always think of pay uh, publicity as you know news coverage sometimes in a negative light but we never uh, really think about that paid portion so how, what are some of the things that we could do to pay to get positive publicity for ourselves? Well, a couple things. Um, first of all, the paid stuff is called advertising. So I'm not I'm not an expert in that. That okay. is a particular art form. Right. Uh, and, you know, it's controlled and that's nice. There's things that are called advertorials, which look like publicity, but actually right. you've paid to have the article put forth. Right. And, right. and by the way, I you know, I'm all for certain parts of that. I think it's great. What I'm talking about, though, is getting the free stuff, the, right. the, the right. articles placed the podcasts, the interviews, it's your social media, it's your Facebook lives, it's your Instagram lives, it's any way you want to go live. <laughs> right, um, right. You know, it's your YouTube channels. That's that's all publicity, my friends. Everything we just right. included there, your blogs, all of it's publicity. So start thinking about your content, what you want to get out there, your message. And in fact, I like to call it, why should people care? 
right. you know, You're right. you, you right. got to answer that question. Right. Yeah, and usually uh, we take, or what I've tried to do lately in the last few years is take more of an educational stance. How can I add value to the story? What can I do to educate a consumer, the general public? And so I think when we take that frame of mind, the other thing, there are a lot of people out there, a lot of news uh news reporters, other outlets that are more than happy to have your content on their program. They're looking for good content. So sometimes it's as um, easy as reaching out, making a phone call and saying, hey, I've got this great uh, angle. I don't know. Sometimes I hear things on the news, a reporter, feel good story. I think, well, how could I tell a story or something off of that that you can call and say, hey, I can build on this. So um, part of it that I always like to say is use everything you've got, right? right. So some, you're listening for news and how you can fit in. That's number one. Right. Um, then you're also listening and looking for what's going on. So I think it's really important people go into Google Alerts and put your name and put your uh, contact and uh, meaning keyword of what, you, what you're selling, promoting, connecting to. Yeah. Uh, and that's really helpful. Um, and then, you know, get br bigger and broader. I mean, I was on a TV show in Dallas, Texas, you know, where you are. Yeah. And hey, guess what? It was talking about an advertising company being fired um, because of a racist comment they made. Yes, right. Yes. And so Motel 6 fired them and uh, right. Dr. Pepper and, and all kinds of Cracker Barrel and all of them. And, and they wanted my comment because I'm an expert in publicity. Now, I have to tell you, I'm not an expert in advertising. Yeah. Right. And so always the answer I just want to say is yes. And you, you, just want to be, you just want to be looking for building your business, um, yes, on top of stories that, yes, are already existing, yeah. are already out there. And so, yeah, if you see a story and you can, shall we say, add to it, connect to it, um, enlarge it, great. Yeah. And, you know, stand straight in your own, shall we say, expertise. Mm -hmm. And know that it's not about what you're necessarily promoting and selling, but what can you add to the conversation? Right. And and finding angles that way is is really really good. Yeah, it just made me think about a, um, a service that I've checked out before. It's called Haro H A uh, R. I'm trying to get the acronym right. It's Help a Reporter Out. That's Are right. you familiar with that? I love it, and okay. I recommend it to all your listeners. Yeah. Helpareporterout.com yeah. is actually the website, okay. and it's perfect. Can you tell them how that, how that works, that exchange there? Absolutely. Yeah. So what happens is um, reporters are, you know, and that could be in Harrow, it could be a blogger, it could be anything, are looking for people just like you listening to this podcast. They need people to pay attention to um, uh, whatever their stories they're working on. They're on deadlines, right? So the good news is that they're, they're putting it out there, waiting for sources like you to comment. Um, and so that's how stories really begin, get large. But this is the part about, I like to call this use everything you've got. <laughs> right. So for example, on Harrow, uh, which is help a reporter out, I received a, a query, they're called a query, uh, of looking for a, a story for winter. It actually was a, it was June when they were putting this query out. And it said, they wouldn't even say which magazine. Well, it turned out to be Women's Day, which is huge. And they're working on a story for December. Now, here's what you all got to hear, especially especially um, magazines, they're working three, six, and nine months ahead, right? Right. So even though it's June, yes, they're working on a December story so that they can produce it, write it, et cetera. Well, they were looking for feel-good stories. And I ended up talking about my volunteer service with my senior companion program, of which, uh, which I was a part of, helping to take care of a senior once a week. And that was wonderful, and, and it was a great story, having nothing to do with my publicity business right. or my virtual publicity courses or my four books, nothing. Yeah. But what it was about, of course, was a diff, you know another part of me. And right, so right. I want you always to be watching and listening for where can I contribute? What, what's a story that could matter that I know something about? Yeah, and I, I got lucky... Um, 
I reached somebody reached out to me through Har- Harrow as well, and I made a relationship with this reporter. And so I think you have to. It's it's not always just one off either. If we play our cards right, she called me back two or three times for other comments. Uh, you know, over the next year or so different ways that I could add value. And so, I mean, how easy was that for me just to reach out and do that? And, and I think, um, if I'm not wrong, a lot of these news channel or TV stations, they have websites that they have to have content on. So maybe you don't run as a news feature story on TV, but this was on one of our major uh, network websites is where the, the couple stories I was mentioned in. So a lot of press, a lot of eyes on it, a lot of good, you know, SEO value. So it, it you just really can't go wrong. Right. And, and everything matters and everything counts. Right. And that's what I want you all to hear, too. Everything matters. And so, yeah, whether it's on the website of a major network, you can still say you were featured on the local Fox affiliate. Let's just right. use that as an example or the local CBS affiliate. And, and that's just as good as anything. See, yeah. what you're really looking for is, we'll call it bragging rights. <laughs> right, right. And, um, and that lives on forever. Your comments, your being quoted, the fact that you were uh, featured in a CBS uh, TV affiliate. They don't need to know that it was on the website. Right, right. And this is, you know, this is, I always want people to get a little more braggadocious <laughs> in a nice way. Yes, I mean, yeah. without being ego filled, right. the truth is publicity is going to move your business. Yeah. So you want as much of it behind you as you can get. And that right. that's a real key to success. Right. Yeah, because it makes us uh, appear, not always, but it makes us appear to be a subject matter expert. Why would a reporter reach out to this person if they weren't the smartest on that topic? So it's, it's really good. Well, um, uh, I want to uh, kind of shift gears for just a minute and <clears throat> talk about referrals. Again, I, I just don't think that we actually ever do enough with referrals. And so uh, can you help us out with that? What are some good uh, ways to reach out or to start? A lot of people just, I think we get back to the the uh, bragging rights. A lot of people are just uh, hesitant to ask for that. They don't feel good about it. So talk to us a little bit about asking for referrals. So a couple things, you know, referrals are about, I call it the three C's, right? Communicate, connect, and create, or create the relationship or create the referral. Um, so that goes back to asking the who do you know? I think it's just a really simple question and, and people appreciate uh, the straightforwardness is what I've noticed. Right. So um, sometimes it's a little bit about, yeah, you have to get over yourself in the asking for it, right? Right. But it, what's what's so powerful is to ask for it in a very nice and upfront way, you know? Who do you know who? And then fill in the blank. Right. Um, might need some publicity help. Who do you know who <laughs> wants to get a book deal? Because uh, right. I help people actually get book deals. So I might ask that. Who do you know who books speakers for virtual speaking engagements? Like just whatever it is you need. Those are three of my asks, right? right, and, right. and I'll... Uh, when I'm in a group and they say, what do you need? I will ask one of those questions because this is, you know, the thing that you got to be careful of, so to speak, is you don't want to be caught like a deer in headlights if somebody says, how can I help you and what do you need? You want to have the answer to that question. Right. Uh, so that's important. And and I believe me, I've asked many people, how can I serve you? What do you need? And they're like, uh, uh, uh. They don't really know what to say. Right. So how can you ask for referrals if you're unclear what you really need next? That's one thing. Be clear about what you need next, okay? And that's important. And then within that same category, um, literally be willing to ask your clients for referrals. So I like to call this in the happy dance stage of, you know, it could be after you've done, if you're a consultant, a few sessions or, um, you know, I just help somebody close a six figure book deal for their book. Of course, I'm going to say, listen, might you have some referrals, other people <laughs> who might want this or right. things like that. So you want to ask sooner rather than later. You don't always have to ask at the end. And the other thing related to that is testimonials. Um, but that has to be part of your system. Like everybody who goes through my virtual publicity course, like half hour before the end, I will say, hey, listen, you know, if you love this course, 
we love testimonials um, and and it's a nice thing to do, right? right. Um, so you have to ask for it. Sometimes it's gonna feel uncomfortable. I've made it easy for people to give it to me. In other words, we have a system for it where they right, just right. have to click a link. So here's the deal. If you're gonna ask for referrals and testimonials, you need to make things really easy for people to do that. So, you know, somebody asked me recently for a LinkedIn uh, testimonial. Uh, and I am happy to do that, but I'm like, send me the link. So all I have to do is <laughs> I don't right, have to figure right. anything else. Exactly. And I, I think that's really important these days is just make everything as easy as you can for people. Right. And if you provide a good service, a good product, people are going to people like, like to brag even about the, you know, what a great deal they got. What, you know, they got the best service more than any of their friends did. And so we could kind of set them up to uh, have bragging rights. If we provided that great service, that great experience, a good product, you know, they want to tell their friends. So we need to be sure that we can be there to help them tell their friends about us. Yeah, exactly. And to know, you know, that you're a gift to people, right? In right. terms of your service, your product, what you've got. And people do want to talk. They want to spread the word. They just, sometimes they don't know how, they haven't been asked. Right. So that's that's something I really want to um, underline for all of you is is that referrals are going to drive your business. It's, I think, one of the best and least expensive marketing tools. Right. And that's other people talking about you and saying great things and, oh, you've got to call, you know, you got to call so and so for this service. You know, we we do it naturally. We tell people about restaurants or good movies. So think about doing it for your service and other people's service and ask them too. How can I help you? Can I give you a testimonial? That's right, a great right. thing. Yeah. Yeah, the reciprocation I was going to say that is a great thing when we can uh when it goes both ways, it, it seems like it kind of o opens up a lot more communication, makes people a lot more um ready to you know give us their referrals as well yes so um the uh i guess the other thing about the referral end is that you really don't or my my uh my experience with them is you really don't have to typically have that hard uh sales process and it shortens up your not only is it it's uh more cost effective but it shortens up your sales cycle because what i hear from my referrals is well joe's already told me all about you what you did and this and that i just want to you know let's just get started or you know buy the product or whatever so we not only need to think about that but you know maybe uh, like a typical client you may have to have 8 10 12 touches and you go through the whole cycle a lot of times with referrals, I mean, it's cut to the chase. I'm ready to buy. That's why they told me about you because we were, you know, we were uh, at coffee the other morning talking and uh, I told him I needed your product. He's like, oh, I know who to go to. So, you know, we cut all that out. I know. And isn't that a good thing, right? Yes, it is. <laughs> cut, yes. cut the sales cycle, shorten the process, get right to it, you know, create more prospects, create real relationships. And frankly, you know, Let's do business. That's what business is all about. Right, right, exactly. Well, Jill, I want to thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day to be with us talking again about uh, publicity and referrals. A uh, couple questions before I let you go. Number one is what is a tool or a habit that you have uh, during your daily life, either professional or personal, that you just couldn't do without? Um, it's really, you know, call it prayer, meditation uh, daily. Okay. That's really important to me. And, uh, and I'm working on the exercise daily. But, um, <laughs> yes. That's but awesome. both of those, you know, we'll put it in the category called self-care. Yes. Um, you okay. know what I've learned in, all, in business for a long time is that self-care is key. Right, right. Well, we were just talking about that with some family members the other day is that, you know, we can't take care of other people if we're not in a condition to do that. And uh, so I think that's so important. And then the walking, you know, I, I never hesitate to say this. When I go for a good walk, it seems like it really clears my head. And uh, yeah, my girlfriend, she hates it when I come back. She usually goes with me to keep me from thinking too much. But when I come back, it's like I'm full of ideas and things that we need to do, you know, just from taking a 15 or 20 minute walk here. So anyway, well, uh, 
can you tell everybody who your customer is, uh, how you can help them, how they can get a hold of you? Sure, thank you. Yeah. So if you're a small business owner, I mean, frankly, I've worked across industries uh, with consultants, coaches, authors, speakers, um, but what I'd call small business owners, that's people also of products and services. And, uh, and I teach a virtual publicity course. Um, I have a wonderful free masterclass I'm happy to give away as a gift to all of you. Uh, and may I give the contact information or you want to put yes, it in the no. show well, notes? I'll put it in the show notes, but yeah, please go ahead and give it to everybody. Sure. So it's jilllublin.com slash publicity. And that will put you into my free publicity masterclass, which is live and interactive with me. So oh, awesome. we definitely, yeah, we definitely get to connect together and that would be super. Okay. Great. Yes, I will follow up and put that on the web page show notes. So y'all, please be sure, reach out to Jill, uh, get in this class, learn how to generate some publicity for yourself. You, you certainly won't be sorry. I know that for sure. All right, Jill. Well, thanks a lot. Until next time. Again, this is Roy uh, with the Business of Business podcast. You can find us at www.thebusinessofbusinesspodcast.com iTunes, Stitcher, Google Play, all the big uh, podcast platforms, as well as Facebook, Instagram, uh, Twitter, and uh, YouTube. So until next time, thank you.